Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at systems of equations. We're gonna answer the question, what are system of equations and their solutions and how do I solve a system of equations with graphing? So a system of equations is two or more equations with the same variables. The solution to a linear system is an ordered pair that satisfies each equation in the system, which means makes it true. So we are going to look at this algebraically a lot throughout this unit, but we're gonna start by looking at the graphs. So we can end up with three types of solutions with linear systems. The first one is most common. One solution is when we have different slopes, so our lines intersect one time and we call this a consistent and independent system. So this one solution would be the ordered pair where they intersect, which is negative three, three. That would be the one solution there, negative three, negative three. Okay, then no solution is when we have the same slope, so it's parallel lines, but the y-intercept is different. So they are never going to intersect, and we call that an inconsistent system. And then the last scenario is infinite solutions. This is when it's the same exact line. We have the same slope and the same y-intercept, and we call that a consistent and dependent system. So we are first going to look at solving systems by graphing. So to solve a system by graphing, we want to convert both equations to slope intercept form. And then we will graph the lines with the slope and the y intercept. And then we will determine the solutions or if there's no solution or infinite solutions. So let's start with this first one right here. I'm going to graph y equals negative x plus one. I'm going to put my y-intercept at one and then the slope is negative one so I can go down one, right one. And from the y-intercept, I can also go up one, left one. So there is the first line. It's really important with graphing systems that you are accurate when graphing the lines since we're going to determine the solution from the ordered pair where they intersect. So there's the first line and then let's graph the second one. The y-intercept is negative five. So from the origin, I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, and then the slope is two. So I'm gonna go up to right one, up to right one, and there I can see where the line is going to intersect with the other one. So there is my system of equations, and the solution is right there where they intersect, which that ordered pair would be one, or sorry, two, we go right two and then down one. So two negative one is the solution there. I'm going to prove algebraically that this is the solution as well. The ordered pair solution is an x, and a y value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug that in to both of the equations to prove that it makes each equation true. So here's the first one, y equals negative x plus one. I'm going to substitute in two for x and negative one for y and prove that it makes the system true. So y is negative one equals negative times x is two plus one, so that's negative one equals negative two plus one, and negative one does equal negative two plus one or negative one. So I just proved it works for the first equation. Let's prove it works for the second equation, two. So it's going to be y equals two x minus five. So I'm gonna replace y with negative one, two times x was two minus five. So that's negative one equals four minus five or negative one. So I just proved on the graph that the solution is two negative one and then I checked it algebraically by plugging into both equations. Okay, let's graph this second system. 
This first equation, y equals x plus 5, is already in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to go ahead and graph that one. My y-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the slope is positive 1, so I can go up 1, right 1, and I can also go down 1, left 1. And there's the line for that system, or for that first equation in the system. This second equation is not in slope-intercept form, so I need to convert it to slope-intercept form to be able to graph it. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides, and I get negative y equals negative x plus 2, and then I'm going to divide by a negative 1, and I get y equals x minus 2. Two. So if you notice, I'm going to have the same slope of 1, so it's probably going to be one of the special cases. Let's see what happens. My y-intercept is negative 2, and then the slope is 1. So they have the same slope and different y-intercepts. That means that these lines are parallel, and they will never intersect. So this is a no-solution system. Okay, number three, both of these equations are not in slope-intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to have to do with both of these equations is convert them. Let's start with this first one. I'm going to write it out to the side. 2x plus 4y equals 8. First thing I would do to convert to slope-intercept form is subtract 2x from both sides. And I get 4y equals negative 2x plus 8. And then... I'm going to divide everything by 4, and I get y equals negative 1 half x, and then 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I can graph this first line now. The y-intercept is 2, and then the slope is negative 1 half. So I can go down 1, right 2. And from the y-intercept, I can also go up 1, left 2. So there is the line of the first equation. Now let's look at the second equation. 2y equals negative x plus 4. There's only one thing I need to do to convert that equation to slope-intercept form, and that's divide everything by 2. And then I get y equals negative 1 half x plus 2, which is the same as the other equation. So let's go ahead and graph that line too. It's going to be the same thing, y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 1 half. So I have the same exact line here, which means they are intersecting constantly. So since we have the same line, that means that we have infinite solutions to this system. Every ordered pair that you plugged in on both of the lines would work. Okay, and last one. Neither of these are equations are in slope-intercept form, so let's convert. All we have to do on this first equation to convert to slope-intercept form is subtract that 2x. So the slope-intercept form equation is y equals negative 2x plus 6. So let's go ahead and graph that. We have a y-intercept of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then a slope of negative 2. So I'm going down to right 1. So there is the first line in this system. And second equation, I need to convert to slope-intercept form. So let's subtract 2x from both sides. I get 3y equals negative 2x plus 6, and then I have to divide everything by 3. And I get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So now let's graph this line. I'm going to start with my y-intercept at 2, 
and then my slope is negative two-thirds. So I'm going to go down to right one, two, three, and there I can see where the lines are going to intersect. Can plot a few more points by going up two and left three. And now let's draw this line. So different slopes, so that means there's going to be one solution and I can see the solution. It is right there at three, zero.